Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, speaking of uh, connections, build collections, uh, we just met with a guy named Brad. We actually found him on eBay and uh, he sold us a few coins today. Um, and in this video, we'll be talking a little bit more about how to build connections, um, how to treat people uh, with different circumstances in their life. Um, I really give you guys uh, some tips about uh, how to interact with people that have, uh, you know, uh, lost a loved one or have done things that, you know, they, they haven't been able to either go through a collection, just how to approach certain things like that. Um, I think half the battle really is, um, we were talking to Brad about this, half the battle really is finding a nest egg or a group of people that uh, will take what your either father or grandfather or even, even your grandmother or mother have built in terms of a collection and finding the top dollar for it because there's a lot of good people out there that do deals and there's a lot of bad people out there that that take advantage of people um, during a maybe a tricky or really sad situation so uh, let's head home and I will show you guys everything that we got hey guys we just made it back uh, from Round Rock Texas uh, we found uh, a few coins that Mr. Bradley gave us. Um, like I said, he's a really nice guy. Um, his dad ended up uh, passing away uh, not, too not too recently, I'm not too sure, maybe a few years ago. And it's been really hard for them to kind of go through the collection and uh, hunt through stuff and also get money for other things that they need in their life. But um, like I said, it's good to have people uh, or dealers that you know or dealers that your father or mother may know um, to pass a collection on to um, if you're not interested in keeping it. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the, the logistics of that in this video and show you guys all these awesome coins that we got today. We got some raw CCs and we got some uh, Morgan Dollars and we also got some more stuff in this week. So uh, let's take this stuff up to the light box and show you everything that we have. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Akusha Collectibles. Just made it up to the light box. And today we're really gonna be taking kind of a deeper look and perspective on how I think people should uh, acquire their collections, but what more importantly, how they should sell their collections if they were to pass away or um, uh, if a loved one near you has, uh, you've lost a loved one near you. Um, so, like I said, we were talking to Mr. Bradley today and we're gonna be showing off a few of the coins he sold us. Um, he's been having a really tough time, uh, you know, he's been really busy at work and doing stuff and, and sadly he hasn't been able to sell the coins that his dad's left him. And, uh, what I've learned in the space is that like we, like we were talking about earlier, there's a lot of good people, a lot of bad people. And, um, and w what I would say to anybody that is even from when you start your collection at 15 years old or all the way until you're 90, 95, 110, whenever you die, you should have someone that you are in constant contact with um, in terms of a dealer that specializes in something that you enjoy or something that, you know, uh, someone that you know that you would trust with your collection and would pay you uh, what is fair for it. Um, we spoke to Bradley and we said, hey, you know, we don't, we don't want to make a million dollars. We want to make sure that your coins... Uh, make us some money, but also that uh, you feel like you trust us and that uh, You know your collection is worth something and I don't think that taking advantage of anybody um, would be worth our time because um, The thing about like we were talking about in previous videos. We we don't want to Only have a one-time customer. We want to have a lifetime customer and that ends up being with selling as well um, you want to have somebody that um, gives you a constant flow of inventory and that that is someone that loves to work with you as a person because of how uh, you present yourself as your character and the way that works is that you pay them what is fair you treat them fair you're a nice person to them and then you end up receiving things that you never thought you would and um, this is the only first transaction we've done with Mr. Bradley but I feel like we're going to do a lot more just because the way we treated him our honesty with stuff and um, when buying a collection, you have to be super honest and very empathetic to, you know, all the things that they've experienced in the past few years 
since losing their father or losing a loved one. Um, and so um, the way, way we approached it was like, hey, Mr. Bradley, you know, you're a good guy and you have a lot going on. Um, and that's, that's kind of where we had to approach it. Like, uh, what can you work on, work with us on right now? And so we ended up buying a few coins from him um, just because his, t his schedule is crazy. He's got a lot of crazy stuff going on and I don't want to push him to the point where he's like, uh, you know, I just don't want to handle this coin stuff. I'm just going to take it off to a pawn shop or do something like that. Um, that's something that I just don't want to do for anybody. And so, um, I'm kind of giving you the dealer perspective on this side. It's like, if you want to buy a collection from somebody, um, it's going to be in their time. Um, they have a busy life. They have things they have to do. Um, and there's people that trust people in a certain way. So it's like, um, some people trust you to go to a restaurant and meet up and talk about coins and give them pricing. Some people trust you to only do certain coins at a time. Um, you just have to be really, uh, sensitive and understanding of what, uh, people want to do during the during the time that they have um, so mr. Bradley met us for, for three coins today uh, I'm showing you guys actually a few others from the other day that we received from the coin show just because we haven't had much time we haven't we had a whole lot actually in the past video but I wanted to show you guys a few cool coins from this video and uh, let, let me show you guys something pretty cool um, we bought this one today but let me show you the next rattle which is it's gonna be unique um, so this is an 1878S graded MS64. Um, we sold this actually pretty quickly as well. But the unique part about this is that um, the person that bought that sent this in actually put a sticker. He was actually a dealer back then. He put a sticker that in March of 1889, he uh, he had this coin. He sent this coin in, and he left this sticker on there. So I thought that was pretty unique, and I had to buy it just because of that. Uh, but let's get back to talking kind of more about. Um, how you approach things um, and also like I said there's many collectors here and there's many dealers here and so there's two two kind of sides of the coin and when it comes to either liquidating a collection or uh, doing certain things like that and what I've realized is that uh, if you're if you're going to uh, sell a collection to somebody I would say you have to trust them and you and make sure that they're knowledgeable um, sometimes I've realized that people either ask too much for a collection and then they end up getting hosed or they uh, end up trying to cheap somebody out um, what I would say is that if you're if you're uh, you know you own a collection like I said find someone that specializes in, in it find someone that's of higher integrity uh, understand their character as a dealer um, because um, just because they treat you correctly and treat someone else maybe incorrectly um, it doesn't mean that they would treat you incorrectly behind your back. Um, I know that's kind of something that is a little off the ball, but um, find someone that is true in their stature and character, um, no matter who they're with or what they're talking about, and because it really does flow into business. It really flows into how they uh, come across problems or how they work with certain people. And, um, and so if you can find someone with high integrity and someone that will price things well and are pretty uh, fluent in what you like to collect, um, that's, that's going to be something that's going to be great for your collection because your family might not be as interested as you and they want to uh, make sure maybe that your, your coin collection benefits them as much as possible. Um, and also, you know, even, even if someone wants to collect the coins that you, or keep the coins that you left them um, or are going to leave them um, it's also pretty important too that uh, you leave a value of what uh, you think it is on there or um, you would go to a dealer and and get an appropriate estimate because um, that that the more knowledge you leave somebody the more knowledge that you equip people with uh, the better um, and sometimes people have different perspectives in life so you know uh, you you do a coin collection and maybe you have a daughter or a son that maybe is in law enforcement or is a doctor or a lawyer and that they don't have time to either you know go through a collection like your like your own um, give you're not able to give them that that knowledge of how to price coins or find coins or uh, able to check the market and see if things have gone up and so um, what what really does help um, is giving more knowledge to people in your life that uh, might not have the similar interests, 
but um, giving them knowledge and, and equipping them in terms of knowing how to price things, you know, like uh, telling them, hey, um, download this app, go on price guide, um, um, do things like that to just make sure that they're not getting ripped off if they do go to somebody and um, you might not have the connections or the dealer that uh, dealer that you might know locally to help you with your collection. So, um, trying to think of other things that might might help you guys. Um, with, and we most of the time when we run into collections, like it is someone that already passed away and they don't know what to do with it. Um, and so, uh, something that I also want to add is that. Um, it's really about the person first, you know, like we drove an hour and a half today to buy three coins um, for Mr. Bradley. And for us, it's it, it really wasn't like buying three coins and making like, you know, 150 bucks or 120 bucks on the deal wasn't the most important to us. Um, I think that uh, God, uh, I know if you guys aren't uh, religious or not, but God gives us kind of opportunities or pockets of time where we are able to reach out and help others um, with what God has given us in terms of gifts. And I think that God has blessed me and my brother with a gift of uh, business and helping others, and coins happen to be um, the vehicle for that. And so meeting Bradley today was an opportunity to be a little bit of a part of his life, um, help him during a trying time. And so it's, it's a good thing to um, kind of jump in on those opportunities when you can because um the people really do it really does matter um to the space in terms of its longevity as well it's um people get hurt all the time you know by by different dealers or people that uh, at a pawn shop that they might go to um so when they when they do meet somebody like you or me they're gonna say wow these people were nice they treated me well they offered me great money for this stuff and it's just something that um, really changes the game. It really gives people a great per perspective about coins. It doesn't give them that greasy salesman type of feel. It gives them more of a professional and uh, helpful type of feel. When you go into um, selling or, or buying a collection, they, they say, you know, they have always treated me right. And then what ends up happening after that is that someone says, they treated me right. Um, I'm going to try to find somebody, or if I do run into somebody, I'm going to tell them about Drew or Casey or yourself, because um, good, world's, good word travels fast, and if you do something bad, it travels even faster. And so, but if you guys are interested in any of the coins posted today, we have a website, which is AkushaCollectibles.com, uh, where we post all of our coins up on there every single week so you guys get fresh inventory and something you might be able to fill in your collection so uh, head on over there if you guys are interested and in the meantime let's go to the outro alrighty guys I wanted to thank you for watching today's video if you did enjoy what we had to talk about in terms of buying and also selling a collection uh, I, I recommend if you could just leave a like um, we work very hard on giving information about uh, what to do in the coin space and we do create videos every single week, so if you want to, please subscribe to our channel. I think only 20% um, of our viewers are subscribed currently, so your subscription would mean so much. Um, and kind of, and if you guys want to, uh, please comment what you guys learned today. Um, kind of give me a little bit more pointers that I should kind of follow in terms of uh, either buying or selling a collection. Um, you guys' point of view means the world to me, so... Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening or morning, wherever you guys are, and I will see you in the next video.